Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about an interesting problem. And maybe you've seen something like this before. Um, you have a situation where you need to borrow $200,000, uh, a mortgage over 30 years, and then you have to figure out how much you're going to be paying for it. And this particular example shows uh, you know, what the principal owed would be over 30 years, and it's just every year. But what if you wanted to do it differently? Um, and you know you're not going to use an Excel. You're not going to use Excel to uh, calculate the principal and interest, but just the whole loan value. Um, and there's a way to do this. Uh, you know, a lot of people they go straight to Excel and do some comp complicated uh, formulas. But actually, there's an easier way to do it. You can use a built-in function that Excel includes. It's called uh, PMT. Um, and basically, it's equal PMT parentheses, and in the parentheses, there are several values. There can be as many as five, but in this case, I'm just going to have three, and I'll tell you what they are. Rate is the interest rate for the period, so that could be a monthly rate or an annual rate. N per is the number of periods, months or years, and then PV is the present value or the principal. So for a 30-year loan for $200,000 at 5% interest, you know the raw formula would look like this. And it looks like kind of jumbled numbers, and actually this number, this first number here, that looks a little weird. You're thinking, what, 0 0.0041666, what's that? Because I just said 5% interest. But remember, 5% interest, that's the annual rate. But we're doing this on a monthly basis. So you have to divide that by 12. So this is the monthly interest rate uh, expressed as a decimal, not as a percentage. And then here you have the number of months, 360, and then the value of the principal. So um, I could do it that way, but there's actually an easier way to do it. You can see right below, instead of calculating separately, you know, what's the, what's the monthly rate here? I can just express this as a fraction, uh, sorry, or sorry, as a, you know, simple division within Excel. Um, and then the other thing you can do if you want to is you can reference another cell to bring that value in. But let's just try this one right here. So, and we can see how it works. So let's go to Excel. And I'm going to just put as an example without the equal sign, so we can just see what we're doing. So here's the actual formula. I'm going to paste that in. So I can just do it right here. And I'm going to hit return. And you can see it it expresses it as a uh, negative number because it's this is what you're paying out. It's uh, $1,073.64. That's your monthly payment. OK, that's one way to do it. So you can see it's I did 0 0.05. That's the interest rate divided by 12 to make it monthly. 360 months in the whole period, and then $200,000. Uh, let's see the other way of doing it. It's actually not another way. It's the same way, just expressing the numbers a little bit differently. You know, with, with Excel, like many things in life, there's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different, but the result should be the same. So I'm going to paste that in. Uh, let's get rid of that extra zero there, which is messing it up. It, it just formatted a little bit differently, but the result is the same. And then I'm going to do one more, and this time I'm going to put a value. So instead of saying um, $200,000, I'm going to put $300,000 in this cell. This is cell number C4. And then I'm going to let's paste that in, get rid of this. So instead of doing $200,000, I'm going to do just C4. Okay, let's make sure that's over to the left. Okay, and then here, I'm going to do equal, whoops, equal C4. Uh, and it gave me a different value, as it should, uh, because I'm referencing this cell, cell C4, and cell C4 has 300,000. So the result is differently. But you can see, instead of just typing the number, I put C4. And what you could do, like you, if you wanted to, you could make a whole bunch of different formula. Like here you could have 100,000. Here you could have 500,000. And then you could just drag this formula down. Let's see, actually, let's see if it works. Yeah, you can see that. It just automatically calculated. And isn't that a pretty easy way to calculate uh, monthly loan payments instead of trying to do some really complicated formula on your own? So for more advice on how to get the most out of Excel, check out my book, uh, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. And also I have more intermediate examples like the one I just showed you on the Excel Intermediate Cheat Sheet. Both are available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.